All right, we are going to do a saran wrap uh, tutorial today. Um, you might call it plastic wrap or cling wrap. Um, I'm used to calling it saran wrap. So we're gonna put some um, alcohol ink on here and then we will wrap our cup in it. Make sure that the saran wrap is larger than your cup um, and uh, including the bottom part. And then we will let it dry and take it off and it'll have kind of a, um, almost a stained glassy kind of look to it. So I have, I'm going to be using a kind of current stream, sapphire blue, lemon yellow. If you don't have alcohol inks, I've been really happy with the Let's Resin brand. Um, it's a great little set of, I think it's 14 colors and then you get four whites as well. And it is a white that you can actually put drip onto your cup. Um, some of the brands are, you have to mix with epoxy. So the more crinkles you have, the more crinkly it'll look uh, once it dries. So I've let it dry for a few hours now. I'm gonna take off the saran wrap and then I will let it dry overnight before putting epoxy on it. I don't like to use a sealer um, on alcohol ink because I find that if you put too much sealer on, you can actually end up the uh, alcohol ink running which you don't want. So there is saran wrap. So I've done the saran wrap method and um, I would like to add just a little bit of glitter to the first coat of epoxy. I like to add it to the first coat so that um, it goes underneath the decal and the decal isn't sparkly so it gives it a little more separation. Um, today I'm gonna be using a really fine almost micro kind of glitter. Sometimes I'll also use a like a white glitter as well. It depends on the look that I'm going for. So I've already mixed up my epoxy. Uh, for this 20 ounce cup, I'm gonna use about seven mils of each, so 14 mils total. To add the glitter, I'm gonna add it to the epoxy. And I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add like a half pea size amount. I don't know if you can see that or if it just looks like micro bubbles right now, but it is nice and glittery even with that just tiny amount. So I'm going to put my mask on. Like always, I like to start at the top. I did not seal this cup, I just let the alcohol ink dry. Remember that if you have leftover epoxy, that is totally okay. Don't try and put it on the cup just because you've mixed it. 
You can always use a mold or do another cup um, and use that extra epoxy. So there it is. It is just spinning and we'll let it spin for about six hours and then take it off and let it dry the rest of the way on the drying rack.